situated in an industrial estate in the middle part of Belgium lies a place of mystery, a place of historic value, a place completely unique. You'll never find one of these on the planet. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. What to say. Honestly, I'm, I'm speechless. I actually don't know what to say. I didn't expect this to happen. Okay, so I figure I started like this. We heard about a museum that had the craziest collection of fire engines you've ever seen. I'm talking fire engines that are 100 years old. Um, it was like a museum, like a private museum. Uh, the place was covered in dust, uh, completely covered in dust from the photos that we saw. Steve Ronan did a video there last month. So we thought, you know what, let's go and check it out. Let's head down there, let's see what it's about. If we can find a contact number on the wall, we can call them and get a private visit. That's not what happened. Roll the clip. It's a Bedford one. Wow, look at this one. This one's old. Look at this thing, this thing is insane. Look at the axes it's got on there. We're gonna take more look at this. We need to get inside first. So inside here are hundreds, and I mean hundreds of fire engines, all super rare. Some of them over a hundred years old are all inside this building. We got a tip off that we can get inside here easy enough. But look at this thing, this old Ford. Dude, what? That is insane. Oh my God. I've never seen anything like that in my life. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah, that's, that's American. Yeah, dude. You know how we do it? Oh my God, yeah, Ford. You guys in point yep. Oh wow. Oh well, the door is open. Yeah, this is cool. Dude, yeah. it's like something out of an yeah. like a zombie apocalypse right now. Damn. It's crazy how <coughs> all of this that's on <coughs> Look, this fire engine has actually got the holes on the front of the engine. How crazy is that? Look, it's got the extension built on it. And it's got the old holes reel on the back. That's cool as hell. Obviously, when we get inside, we can use our lights. Do you know how they deployed that? Put it down up floor and just drove car. Right, we need to get inside. So there's more fire engines here. These are just on the... Imagine, these ones are on the outside. Imagine what is inside. Fire, fire, fire. That's an old fire engine trailer there. So this is an old Peugeot 404 fire, fire car. I've never seen one before in my life. I've seen pictures. There's more down here. Okay, so interesting developments. So when we was here taking video and photo of the fire engines, a random bicycle started coming up the street and we was like, wait a minute, this could be security or, or someone you know, to tell us to leave, we're not allowed to be here. He pulls up and he pulls down there near a fire engine and just stands there and we're thinking, right, we'll go over and approach him and talk to him. Um, he's a Dutch guy and he doesn't speak any English at all so we tried translating and we managed to find out that it, he said he was a member and he was he couldn't get access to the place so he's like right okay we'll leave and we'll try and find some stuff out online see if we can get in 
anyway we got explore more to translate because he speaks Dutch and we spoke to him and it turns out he's waiting for someone who was meant to be here at half past seven it's now eight o'clock and he has the keys and he's gonna let him in and we can join him so I'm hoping and praying this guy turns up with the keys and we get to go in there and see these priceless fire engines all right he's here I don't know who this guy is or, or anything but we're here we're all just trying to film some fire trucks Oh my god. Dude, I feel like we're doing like some drug deals. Alright, here he comes. This is the guy that came first. Obviously, they only talk Dutch. I don't actually know how I didn't see it before. Maybe it was the excitement of seeing the fire engines. But this guy looks angry. I mean, you can already see it. He's eyeing us up like targets. Come on, quick. Quick. Hey. Calm down. <laughs> can you guys do this? You guys already did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, calm down. What's going on? There are things. What is it? Do you speak English? English? No, what is the problem? No problem? Hey, man, what up? I can you oh, translate right. again, please. One more time. The owner, the owner's here. <laughs> I, I just say our, our friends are from America. And, yeah, and say we wanted to, to see this place. All right. Okay, you're here already. Hello. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You could just talk in Dutch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> Where are you? America. Where are you? I am in Maastricht. Yeah, he comes from Maastricht here, to do it. I am not here, my friends come from Maastricht, from America, so I will take a look at you. Can that happen? Unaangekondigd, so, no. Where are you from? What bende is that? Ja, dat heb ik al twee keer gezegd. Ja. En dan? Maar? Maar, ja, ja. Onaangekondigd hier. Niemand die weet dat dat hier is. Oké, okay, ja, dan uh, hoe moeten ze dat doen? Moeten ze dan aankondigd bij u? Of? Op zijn minst, ja. Hoe komen jullie hier, meneer? Via, via. Ja, via, via, via wat? Ja, maar ja, hoe komen jullie hier? Dat is mijn vraag. Ik snap niet hoe ik doe. Ja, ik zal het u doen snappen, meneer. Hoe komen jullie hier? Ja, dan moet je even mijn vrienden teruggeven. Ik heb die niet vast. Ik kan nog komen. Alright, so guys, how did you find the spot? He's asking. Eh, uh, an, an article online. Which article? Uh, hang on. Okay, we're going to show it. Yeah, we're going to show it. It's all part of it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Slow mo. The story for us forever. You know what you can do? Hurry that you're going. Otherwise, I'm going to play with your ass. Okay? Okay. I'm Immediately. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. There is no sorry. Immediately. And go. Oh. As we turned our backs, he extended a weapon out of his pockets. You could actually hear it. He is a better sound. When I turned my back, I wasn't wearing a robe mic, so you could hear it better. Sorry, there is no sorry. Immediately and go. Okay. Oh. From Carl's point of view, before he went back to the car, you can clearly see there was no handle of any kind of weapon in his pocket. Now roll the clip after he'd already been from his car. Immediately and go. Oh. 
Oh shit, dude. Holy shit. Holy English. Yo! Yo! What yo. the hell what just the happened? What oh happened then? Bro. He pulled a knife on us. Yo, he did. Damn. Yo, what the? Dude, I got freaked out. Yo, the what? guy was just like waving our shit around on the back, bro. What? Dude, what that was scary that? as heck. Whoa. Guy, guy just pulled a fucking shank, bro. Dude, Dude, he just pulled a machete out. Yo, I was freaked out. Mate, I had a feeling he was going for a weapon. Yeah. Dude, I, would, I thought he pulled a gun or something. Dude. I was, I didn't know what was going on. Dude, we just came to see if we can get permission. We just got given some buses, bro. Some ambulances and fire engines, but no, some guys just pulled a machete. That was scary. Holy He was fucking brave. He was brave, eh? Yeah, well, he, he will be brave. He's got a machete in his hand, man. I'll be brave. Did I record that? Five I, 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 I got the whole most thing. on the phone. I got the whole entire thing. Oh, Mo! Mo! Oh, I... Yo! I got the whole entire thing. I'm Turn your light off. Yeah, the entire thing on camera. Yeah, I got the whole thing on camera, man. You got it? Did you yeah. get him on camera I, pulling yeah, it out? Yeah, I got it. I got it all, man. Right, I need that full Can we, please? Yeah. Dude, you are the man. Yeah, wait. That is funny footage, that. Shit. What the hell just happened? We nearly got stabbed up. Yeah, yeah, we knew we got hey, Did you hear him? We're going to play with all your asses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said to us. He said, if you don't go, I'm going to play with all your asses. Oh, oh, prick, man. Holy I can't yeah, believe that just happened. So the, this guy... I thought Dutch it. people was nice. Then, Me so too. Got, uh, Who the f said got, they were nice? Speak to, speak to Dutch, all right, the other guy was really nice. He was really nice. He was like machete out on us. Bro, did you actually get that properly yeah, on? Yeah, mate, bro. Did you see him pull it out? I don't know, I had the, I had the camera downwards, like, but I had it pointed at him the whole you time. You were hearing? Go, shh. Yeah, I yeah. know, but I, 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 thought, it was a, I thought it was a caution first. I thought it was a caution first. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't like that tweet shit, yeah, I don't know. I have to see the footage. If I can see the knife or on any one of our cameras... I didn't, that, that, honestly, that I didn't even see the knife just, in his hand. Just told, fuck I, I just didn't even look at his hand, I just heard it extend. Dude, I see that. It sounded, I heard like, the it sounded like a samurai sword coming out of it. I know. Yeah, that's I why know. I don't, I don't that. know. So, uh, fucking A, man. Dude, yeah, dude so that scared the a, shit out of me. Yeah. Wait, he heard us the whole time. Well, he heard us say, call him up. Yeah? He obviously spoke English. He did. He did it as like a thing to test us. He knew English. He knew English. And then, um, and then that was Did we say anything wrong at all? No. Nothing. No, we were really nice, actually. Yeah, we were. Yeah. Very nice. Dan's been almost hit by a car and that went viral. And I, I remember I showed that off. Alright, we're going back then, yeah. yeah. No, we're not we're not going back there. No. I thought I thought he was gonna kill us. Like you could tell he was not oh, a nice yeah, he, guy. He was he was aggro. He was not a nice guy, you could just tell that anyway. Smoke in your face and yeah. shit. Bro. Like, we're, I, we're lucky he didn't pull a gun. Well yeah, no. So as you saw there. That's not what we had planned, and uh, you know what? I thought we was gonna get beaten up. I mean, he, he did tell us he was gonna play with our asses, whatever that meant. I'm not too sure, but I wasn't waiting around to find out. So yeah, my adrenaline is pumping. So right now I'm gonna order a takeaway. You know what, I don't care. I'm ordering a takeaway, my adrenaline's pumping, I need some food in me. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with a greasy pizza, you know. I'll catch you next time anyway. And yeah, I did hold up the camera with some cork cans. Because we're doing it ghetto out here. Out here in Belgium. Where they pull coshes for fun. So yeah, we're going to head out. John, what did you think about that? Dude, I just, I'm still speechless. Like, my mind is not, like, in the moment yet. Because I'm still thinking about the fact that... The heart rush of that. It was just so. Oh, I can't even talk right now. The fact that we almost got our asses <laughs> played with by a Belgium, angry Belgium Dutch man. That's my worst experience ever exploring. With really? Seven years, officially my worst. America is not that like harsh. I mean, you deal with the police, you talk to them, but you don't have a guy coming at you with a machete or anything like that's that. That's true. So, goodness. That's sake. true. Welcome to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You don't think I'm going to let you go without seeing at least a little bit of a clip of inside this place? Well, you know, if you want to see the full video, head over to Steve Ronan's channel, watch the full one, it's a banger. Everything right here that you're seeing, all these cars are from like the 50s or 60s. It's a really cool perspective to see like how these cars look like here in Europe.
got even more over here.